Spiritual death and its effects are on every side. Kifo chakiro na madaka yake ya kila eneo. Because it was not there when God created the world. Spiritual death came when Satan caused Adam and Eve to sin. Kifo chakiro kilikuja wakati shetani alimsababisha Adam na Hawa kutenda. And there are things which came after men sin which we are not there when God created the heaven. Kuna mambo yalitokea ama vitu vilitokea baada ya wanadamu kutenda nabi ambao we are referring them as the effects of death. Sin was not there. But it came after men's sin. Sickness were not there. Diseases were not there. Something like comfort was not there. It was not the plan of God for men. To end and die physically. I don't want to know what I got to say and I'm too far. Keep for Jackie, 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 Jackie. But after sinning, these things came. I can't buy that. I am not going to die. So we refer them or we refer to them as the effects of spiritual death. I don't want to know what kind of mother you keep for Jackie. No, in John chapter 17, verse 16. The Bible is telling us that they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through the truth. Thy word is truth. But thou hast sent me into the world, even so I have also sent them into the world. Wow, see what we mean. Come and meet me in this city of the world. What a castle by the way, the Nolako, the way. Come and meet the living in the world. This is telling us when you get saved or when you get united to Christ, you are on transit in this world. You are not of this world. The Bible is telling you that. Uh, you are not of the world as I am not of the world. So Jesus was not of the world. He came here for a time and went back to his kingdom. And he declares, if we accept him, then we are also not of the world. Praise the Lord. 
blessing. And therefore, sometimes you find you may look at the wicked and wonder why I'm a saint and he appears to be prospering more than I am. And when you compare yourself with them, you may forsake the Lord. But I want to open your eyes today. Because right here, where the wicked are prospering, even you as a child of God, even though you are on transit, you're going to prosper in Jesus' name. The Bible says, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. Here on this earth. And that's why Psalms 23, 5 says like this. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my hand with oil, my cup runneth over. You, you prepare a table before, before me in the presence of my enemies. Who are these enemies? Because at the times we may not understand. We fail to know who are these enemies. And why should the Lord prepare a table before us in the presence of these enemies? Why should we want for the enemies to see the table being set for us? In the book of First Peter, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, is a rolling lion walking about seeking who he may devour. Now, when we are talking of enemies, we are talking of the effects that came after man's sin. Now there, Julia Madana, Yelio Kuya, Baba Madana. I can put on the enemies we are referring to. Now, Hayo, Dio, I do it to now, to now, time. We are not referring to a person whom you assume to be your enemy. At all, Julia, I'm at Manishi Mutu, I'm by the way, and I'm to fully and come back to what I do. who is my enemy is looking at me, God is going to prepare a table before me in his presence that he may know I am saved. We are talking of demons. 
mapema we are talking of diseases magonjo we are talking of poverty tunaongea juu ya umaskini these are all the enemies that are surrounding us hawa ndio maadui wanaotuzunguka so as we walk in the valley of the shadow of death kwa hivyo tunapotembea katika bonde la uhuru wa mauti in other words we walk in this world as the children of god na maneno mengine tunapotembea katika ulimwengu huu kama watoto wa mungu we are these enemies surrounding us tuna hawa maadui wanaotuzunguka and the plan of god na mpango wa mungu is to cause his children to prosper in the presence of these demonic powers ni kuwezesha watoto wake kufanikiwa katika uwepo wa haya mapepo it is the plan of god ni mpango wa mungu to prepare a table kuanda meza before you mbele za in the presence of all demons katika uwepo wa mapepo in the presence against these enemies 
na ya kwamba una nguvu kiasi gani dhidi ya hawa God is not going to send a table in a certain day before you. Mungu hataweka meza siku fulani mbele za. It is already set. Tayari imeandaliwa. Every provision is there. Kila upaji kila mnacho tangi kiko pale. But few of us are enjoying that table. Lakini ni wachache wetu wanaofurahia hiyo meza. Because these enemies will hinder you from enjoying the table of the Lord that set before you. Kwa maana hawa maadui watakuzuia kufurahia meza ambayo Bwana ameandaa mbele za. They will cause you not to have good relationship, good fellowship with God. Watakusababisha usiwe na ushirika mzuri na Mungu. They will cause you to fall into sin. Watakusababisha waunguke kwa dhambi. Because as long as they are doing some things to you, they, they, they are making sure the table which is set before you, you are not going to enjoy it in this life. Wamaana wapo wanakusababisha kufanya mambo, watahakikisha ya kwamba meza iliyo unaliwa mbele zako au kuwa unaweza kuifurahi. They cannot stop you from going to heaven. Hawawezi wakakuzuia kwenda mbinguni. But they will stop you from enjoying what is on the table. Lakini wakakuzuia kufurahia kilicho meza. So unless you know your servant the authority you have over these enemies, when you will not outa jielewa na kuelewa uwezo unao juu ya hawa Enlightened that he may know what is the hope of his calling 
and watch the riches of his glory of his inheritance in the saints. Macho ya mioyo yenu, ya tiwe nu, juwe tumaini la mwito wake, jinsi nini, na utajiri wa utukufu wa urithi wake katika wakati so you should know it, or we should understand and know our riches. Our inheritance in this life. Even though we are on transit. But we are trusting, we are transiting in this in this, in this world uh, victoriously because Jesus came and prepared the way for us. So you should arise spiritually and stand on your victory as a child of God. But then you should know who you are and you should understand the authority you have so that you might exercise your authority over these enemies and over exercising your authority. These spirits, these enemies will understand you know who you are. When you pass up to the way you are now, the mamlaka of Leo Nai, the way you finish your task, your mamlaka of Leo Nai, Nai Mampepo, Yatalewa, our Madui, Watalewa, where you are now. Now, briefly, let's see what the mission of Jesus was because you should understand the mission of Jesus and then you know. Hebrews 2.14 For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is the devil. Basi kwa kuwa watoto wa mishiriki damu ya mdamu na mwini. Yeye nae bibyo kibyo alishiriki yayo hati. Ili kwa njia ya mauti amparibu yeye aliyekuwa na mungu za mauti ya ni kubilisi. Then John 3, first John 3, 8b. Mwana kwa kwanza wa Yohana 3, 9, ba. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Kwa kusuli hili, mwana wa mungu alitigirishwa ili azibunje kazi za ibilisi. So when you look at these scriptures, you see, purposely Jesus came to render the devil powerless. Who had power over spiritual death? So the power of spiritual death was snatched from the power of Satan by Christ. So the effects of spiritual death should not continue harassing us because we have authority over them. From King James Version, it goes like this. 
wa mtindo huo wa Biblia kwa King James haisomeka hivi. Are we from several of our passions or two passions? Uh, Colossians 2:15. Wa Colossae 2:15. It's talking about Jesus. Now here comes Jesus. And he made all the principalities and the powers. He made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Akisha kuzivua enzi na mamlaka na kuziaibisha hadharani akiziongoza kwa kwa ushindi wake wa shaka. Let me read it from another version. Tusome katika mtindo mwingine. Let me read from New International Version. Tusome kutoka kwa New International Version. Colossians 2:15. Colossae 2:15. It is it that having his own the powers and authorities he made a public spectacle of them triumphing over them by the cross. The, the living translation, new living translation, in this way he disarmed the spiritual rulers and authorities. He is he shamed them publicly by his victory over them on the cross. Amen. English standard version goes like this. He disarmed the rulers and authorities and put them in open shame by triumphing over them in him. Amina. Very understanding Bible. And having disarmed the powers and authorities, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross. Listen, the translation is translated so well and so open. That Jesus is well destroyed, disarmed all these demonic powers. Ya kwamba Yesu alinyang'anya mamlaka, akaziaibisha, akaharibu haya hizi nguvu za kishetani, za adhabu. Amen. Amen. So as you stand as a child of God, when you could not possibly come on toto, what you needed to do Jesus did it for you. Kile ulichohitajika kufanya, Yesu alifanya kwa niaba yako. Jesus fought the battle on your behalf. Yesu alipigana vita kwa niaba yako. That is why the Bible says we are more than conquerors. Ndio sababu Biblia inasema ya kwamba sisi ni zaidi ya washindi. Because Jesus overcame for us that this truth should down in your heart and become a part of your life. And therefore, you see yourself as a blessed policeman. Who even though his weak stands on the road and raises up his or her hand and tracks just to stop. They stop because not of his strength, but because of the authority he or she has. Magari ya nasimamishwa si kwa gile ana mkufu na misuli mingi, lakini ni kwa sababu ya mamlaka aliyona. Not their own authority, but the authority they have been given by the government of Kenya. Si mamlaka yao ya yule askari, lakini mamlaka aliyokewa na serikali ya mchia. So when you are standing, Wewe tunaposimama kinyume na hawa adui. It is not your strength. Sio nguvu zako. It is not your authority. Si mamlaka yako. But the authority and the strength you have has been rendered given to you by Christ Jesus. Lakini mamlaka uliyonayo ambao umepewa ni mpiana kwako na Bwana Yesu. So you should just understand who you are and what I who you are supposed to do. Wewe unapaswa kujielewa wewe ni nani na unapaswa kufanya nini. Praise the Lord. This truth will set you free. When these enemies 
na table. But let me tell you that table is full of blessings. New Bible is there on that table. Baptism in the Holy Ghost is on that table. Healing is on that table. Prosperity is on that table.
Can you 